Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today I wanted to do a quick video on uh, exam topics. And the reason why is I've had a few people ping me on the side and message me um, asking why I'm not kind of promoting exam topics for a study guide material uh, when studying and prepping for exams. So it's a mix between the guidance I was provided and given when used with my mentors. And just kind of at the, and I'll kind of explain in the video and you'll kind of see why probably of why I kind of stay, stay more to LinkedIn learning, Udenemy, try hack me, hack the box, uh, YouTube and as, and, and other videos such as professor Messer, uh, when it comes to learning and understanding the material, same thing for some good phone applications and apps that you can also download to save the material. So exam topics is what some might call a test dump site. Now what a test dump site is or a dump site is somewhere where you can find certifications and questions and answers that have been either rewritten or copy and pasted or screen grabbed and then compiled into a question answer format to where you can now study off pretty much either as close to as possible questions off the exam to even live questions that you can see on an exam. And you can see here updated actual exam materials, community that you can belong to, um, said that test questions were almost the same pass exam with exam topic materials, found the study guides effective and helpful. So it sounds too good to be true, right? However, comma, the reason why this can be an issue is it comes to, if you look into whenever you're taking your certification tests, there is an ethics portion where it is saying, Hey, I do not, and I will not take this information and share it out to the world and make an identical replica of the uh, live lab questions or maybe uh, PBQs, your practical exam questions to now share with the entire world to say, hey, this is what you need to do. It's more or less of you always like ask that friend, hey, man, what was the test like? Hey, you should know Nmap. Hey, you should know Metasploit. They don't tell you the verbatim. This is what you have to do. First type in A, then B, then C. And so it comes down to an ethical aspect of it. And just to kind of show you, cause I've already taken my security plus let's pivot over to, uh, one of the many popular, probably quad test banks that people will jump into. I'll say probably CompTIA. So as you can see here, they have a list of all CompTIA exams that they currently have listed on their site. And I mean, they have everything from the a plus CASP up to zero four cloud essentials, CYSA cloud plus data, uh, fun, uh, the data SYS plus it fundamentals, Linux, uh, network plus uh, project plus pen test plus, um, and so forth. So, I mean, they have everything even up to the CompTIA 701 version, which is still, I think freshly come and be, that will be the newest version coming this November. So let's go ahead and just pivot to this one real fast and I'll kind of show you. So looks like 179 questions have been published so far on this and people can kind of leave comments and stuff of how they used it, how it helped them on their certification journey or how they helped pass the test. But as I said before, when you're utilizing things like this, you're really kind of just memorizing the questions, which you're not really learning it at that point. You're just kind of like, it's like, it's like running, running around in a circle. Like you always know you're gonna be taking a left or always gonna be taking a right compared to actually learning the material. So, Let's go ahead and just check out some of these questions, questions real quick. So which of the following threat actors is the most likely to be hired by a foreign government and attack critical systems located in their countries? That is going to be, I'm going to call it organized crime. So boom, question is C. Now, another aspect of these questions and answers is this in a, in a sense, this is an open source uh, page with all these questions that have been established. You see here that it has a discussion little tab and then the correct, correct answer and community vote uh, distribution. So pretty much what happens is, is once these questions are re put into these uh, forums or inside these tests, you can then have people discuss like, Hey, yep, this is definitely the question. Yep. I saw this question on my test. And so you'll see people either start to argue or you're not always sure unless they actually provide you like a source, which like your known uh, training sites, such as Udenemy, try hack me, CompTIA's actual, uh, path the certifications that give you the, Hey, this is the source. Here's the page number. This is where you can find the answer. This is simply just Joe and Jill telling you, yep, I'm pretty sure it was C and that's what I did. So it's hard to actually confirm that that's ac actually your answer without actually going in to dig and finding that answer to confirm it. So which of the following is used to add extra complexity before one using a one-way data transformation? That answer is salting. 
And is this a means to study? Absolutely. Is it something where I still believe that you're just kind of memorizing questions and answers to then regurgitate that on the test? It definitely is. And it's, it's hard to say that you're actually learning at that point. I know some people say, oh, well, I want to use all my resources and these tests are expensive and I want to make sure I pass it on my first time. I totally understand that. Full transparency, when I took my Security Plus, I, I was lucky enough to pass it on my first try. For my CYSA, I, it took me three attempts. And I learned from every attempt doing those certifications. And I never came to exam topics. I kept re reassessing and reassuring myself with the information I knew, um, phone application, ways I could study. I picked up a few more Udemy certification practice tests I could do to include some of the courses. And I just kind of restudied and retrained. And then I was able to successfully pass it on my third go. So just understand that, yes, the road to certification can be tedious and expensive and hard. But do I feel like memorizing and going off a test dump just to pass a certification is the right answer? It's not. And if you look into your ethics portion, especially if you plan on going like for CISSP and some of your other higher certifications, that's part of the ethics aspect too, of just making sure that when you're taking these tests and these training people and mentoring people, you're not always leveraging like, hey, there's this great site that's going to have all the answers that you can just pivot to and then start memorizing all those and you should be great for the test. Because then when you actually, you actually go into the work role and actually implement and imply those tasks that you've allegedly learned, all you're going to be able to do is regurgitate, well, I know the answer is typo squatting, or I know the answer is salting, but you don't know why that's the reason or why that's the solution that you need to actually implement. So exam topics, is it there? Yes. Is it something you could use to study? It is. Is it something I would recommend to someone freshly new trying to break into cyber to understand their basic and fundamentals? I'm going to say no. So if, if you have any comments or anything or your thoughts on exam topics, go ahead and drop them in the comments. I'd love to kind of hear, share people's uh, experiences and stories if they've actually used the site. Um, if you think this video was helpful, go ahead and drop a like, drop a comment, drop a subscribe, hit the bell, and I will catch you guys on the next video. Thanks very much for sticking around.